This video will give you an inside look at how the VersaDrive hybrid system works aboard our catamarans. Jason Crawford from Integral Solutions will walk you through the main controls, settings, and practical use of this cutting edge technology. Let's take a look. This is the, the main dashboard that you'd be on most of the time. You can kind of see what mode both of the holes are in. Change in mode by hitting the, the mode button effectively and go between generate or drive for each each hole and here you can see this is the system power basically how much the power is going into or out of the batteries if you press on the battery you can see what the battery is doing which is very similar to what master vault you know is going to show you here this is the um, battery panel for the batteries themselves go into the controls page this this allows you to set things like how fast um, you're charging or the the battery so you can limit the amount of charge or you can also limit the discharge so if you only wanted to motor it you know slowly you can knock this right back to just two or three kilowatts and you can actually use that to control how fast the boat goes if it's under electric drive well, we're going to add some additional throttle control but right now you can set the idle ahead minimum so on, a, on an engine the engine idles at 800 rpm and so when you put the throttle into gear they're kind of you know the boat lurches a little bit because the propellers you know, goes from stationary to 800 rpm quickly but with the electric motor you can you can drive at much lower speeds so you can actually set the minimum speed that you're going at so you could when we set the minimum here is 300 rpm so when you go into gear the boat doesn't lurch forward it just you know, it's much slower you don't necessarily want to just kind of take off straight out off a um, off a mooring just just a much slower transition you know or if you're, you're move, moving around and you, you just just want a little bit of a nudge so um, you just got a little bit finer control the, the dashboards as i said the the main place that that you know the screen will get left it kind of gives you your your power your, this is system power as, as, as i was kind of saying before that tells you how much power is either going into or coming out of the batteries from the actual batteries and it could be anything so if i turned on air conditioning and fridges and things you'll see this number go that way because it's you can see that's kind of pulling out and it's kind of a bit more of a summary reflection of what what the batteries are actually doing whereas the power down down here is how much power is either being generated or consumed by each hull this is at the, the helm station this lets you go and change between generate or drive for uh, each hull right now the port hull is in e-drive mode and the starboard, starboard hull is in standby, but we could, could do this. And so now starboard's in generate and port's in drive. I could start the engine and, and you'll see it start to generate here. Going to neutral, I can bump up the, the RPM and this will rip up to about 15 kilowatts. Into generate mode. pull it back into neutral and, and I'll put us into gear and then we can actually generate and drive on port and drive on starboard and you'll see that the power that's generated on port will be used to actually drive starboard and there's this could be close to zero because we're not taking putting energy in or pulling energy out of the batteries. You can't drive in neutral. There's no point driving in neutral because all it's doing is wasting power, right? So you have to actually be in gear to drive. We'll take this out of neutral. So now we'll drive to starboard. Go about, maybe about 1500 RPM or something like that. You can see that that's taking 14 kilowatts out of the batteries. Again, this is, um, this is a system power. So we're generating on on uh, port, two kilowatts, and on starboard, we're taking 14 kilowatts. Um, so, you know, do the, do the maths here. It's, you know, minus 12 plus two is about minus, uh, sorry, minus 14 plus two is about minus 12, give or take, and there's some other power draw on the boat, which is why it's, it's not minus 12 exactly. But um, now if, if um, I run the port engine faster, um, it'll drive the boat and generate more power and so this number will go much i can make that go close to zero now so it's not actually taking anything out of the battery and then the port engine is is driving 
both both poles, both port and starboard, and there's no no batteries used at all. All right, there we go. And we'll go up to just around 1500, which is what the starboard side's doing. So now the port hull is generating and driving and the energy that, or the power that it's generating is being delivered across to starboard to drive the starboard. So one engine is driving both hulls and there's virtually no power going, um, coming out of the batteries. So I've, I've um, completely turned the engines off. So let's, let's drive on both, right? That's driving totally on electric. There's no engines. When you're driving like this on electric, you're taking power from the battery and that's basically making the, the motor turn. And then the motor obviously drives through the gearbox and turns the propeller. And the engine's turned, it's completely turned off. The, the engine ignition is on. And we so we're using the ignition from the, the engine system to drive or to control how fast the electric motors go. So you don't have a separate throttle, it's the same throttle. But the engines are turned com completely, or they're not running. Okay, the you can hear that the engines aren't running. Okay. So if I pull, pull it back to at about a thousand RPM, give or take, there we go. So we, we're consuming about seven kilowatts roughly to drive at a thousand RPM on both port and starboard. The engines, their forward idle minimum speed is 800 RPM, but the electric motors can have a much lower forward idle speed, which is configurable, but we've set it to 300 RPM. So you can barely hear the, the motors or and actually the noise you can hear is not the motor. You can't hear the motor, you're hearing the gearbox. If I was to run the motor and disconnect the gearbox, you just wouldn't hear it. The electric motors, the only sound you're hearing is the bearings and they're, they're very quiet. And then as the speed goes up, the churn of the propeller. So if I buzz, buzz this up to, you know, about um, the forward idle speed of an engine is about 800. So it's kind of roughly kind of roughly there. If you go into the controls, you can change the discharge. Basically, right now we're taking 20, nearly 28 kilowatts out of the battery, right? Yeah. But um, if, if you wanted to limit how much power that the drives take, um, because maybe you're sailing, you just want to get a little bit of a lift, you don't have to muck around with the, the throttles, you can um, reduce the discharge limits. This is kind of like cruise control in some respects. So we could knock it down to 10 kilowatts and now the drives can't take more than 10 kilowatts out. And of course the, um, the speed now has kind of dropped to just over, um, you know, it's just over a thousand RPM because you can't get as much um, power out. And so they're, they're limited by power. And so the same um, applies with generation. I can show you the, the same limits. Let's, yeah. let's do that. Right. So we'll put this guy into generate. Okay, and we'll start both of the engines. All right, we're we'll going to neutral. You don't have to be driving to do this. And then we'll just crank up the, the engines to a, the optimum uh, speed for generation is about 1900 to 2200 RPM, something like that. So we'll put them up to just around 2000. The, um, the Yanmar engines love um, love about to run at 2000. They'll do that all day long. It's, um, they're very happy with that. So you can see we're generating just over 30 kilowatts now. Split slightly differently between the sides, but 30 kilowatts total. So if we go in here, You see, I've, I've got the charge rate limited to 30, but if I start to drop this down, let's drop it to 20 to start, then you'll see this power drops back to around 20 kilowatts. It's a target, not, um, not absolute. Same thing again, if I wanted to drop this back to 10, it'll pull it back. So one of the reasons to do this, um, is to limit um, kind of heating on the, the motors themselves. They're, they're air cooled, they're not liquid cooled. And so if you run them really hard, then they will hit a thermal limit and then they'll just self uh, limit their power to, to kind of cool down. But 
if you're going to sail for or drive for 10 hours or something like that, there's no point, you know, ramming the things full daily. You know, batteries like to be slowly charged and slowly discharged rather than being slammed. Um, we've, we've got all kinds of settings in to stop the batteries getting their maximum charge because they don't like that anyway. So, the, you know, you, you can't damage them, but um, the, the bat battery manufacturers will tell you that if, to get maximum life out of them, be nice to them, you know? And what's, the, as I said, what's the point of, of slamming them in half an hour and then they're not doing anything for 11 and a half hours? You're better off to just drop the, the charge limit and, um, and just slowly charge them. So, you know, you don't have to do that, but it, it just gives you the option and, and um, you end up with um, better battery life overall. Eight batteries for these types of batteries, about, their limit's about 24, 25 kilowatts. But, you know, if you put 10 or 12 batteries in, then they can take this all day long. Thanks for watching. We're excited to keep innovating with Integral Solutions to deliver smarter, more efficient propulsion for our balance owners. If you'd like to learn more about the Versa Drive or see it in action, feel free to reach out to us. We'd be happy to connect. Stay in balance.